Hey guys, Calvin Strawn here, creator of the Find a Way to Win programs, the Audacity program, and the Eruption Seminar. This week, something a little bit different, a little more esoteric, if you will, or spiritual. So, serve the greater good. Serve the greater good. Years ago, I was a pharmaceutical sales rep, you know, and I loved it. It was fun. You know, people think pharma is bad, but it was a great experience, you know, learning how to sell to a highly educated client. And learning how to meet their needs, how to create events, how to do pro, it was, it was just a good experience. In the beginning though, I didn't have really much experience in pharma. I came from direct sales and retail sales and door-to-door -door type stuff. So going into pharma, more relationship, kind of soft sell, long-term relationship sell was different. And so the getting that hard close on each transaction or each visit wasn't, isn't really how the game goes. And so how did I, how did I have success in that industry? You know, when I was there, I was like rep of the year multiple years in a row and I was creating all this result. People were like, how are you doing this? And how I was doing it was I was serving the greater good, meaning I put my needs aside. I wasn't really focusing on how many prescriptions or how many sales am I getting or how much is my business growing. I was really focusing on what is my customer, what does my doctor need? What do I mean? So we would do these events where we bring doctors in and educate them on certain topics that they care about. Now, as a company, we have topics we, we want to talk about because it promotes our product. I put those programs to the side and focus purely on what they wanted to see. I'd say, Doc, what do you want to see? And I'd ask a room of them, right? And they'd say, we want to see this, this, and this. And my company would say, well, no, we want to show them ours. And I was like, well, I'm serving the greater good. What did they need? Meet their need. That's how I approached it. Similarly, I ran a group called the Toronto Power Group for years, you know, and our group became one of the best in the world. I think number two or three in the world as far as attendance and uh, just unbelievable energy, not just energy, I don't want to sound corny, but we had like over 150 people per meeting for years and people were just blown away by how we were doing this in Toronto, Canada, conservative Canada. And the way I did it was I served the greater good. I was focusing on if I was sitting in that chair and I had to come to this meeting, what would I want to experience? What would I want to feel? Even if it cost me personally more money, more money than I was making from ticket sales. If it cost me more money to rent a better theater, more money to get a better speaker, more money to get more giveaways and prizes, I did it. I was like, if you're in the chair, I don't want to waste your time. I want to honor your good, serve your greater good, not my agenda. So what's this message here today? It's for you to serve the greater good. I'm not sure what your business is or what you're going through with your relationship or with your body, but focusing on serving the greater good. Put someone else's needs ahead of yours and you'll be amazed at the results that will come. It's one extra way that you can find a way to win. I'll see you next time.